Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day's going fantastic. Thanks for joining me. Okay, we're gonna create an interactive card today. Super excited about this. This set here is called the Christmas Cascade Card Base. It's by Becca Feekin. And it has to be the most easiest interactive card that I've ever made, guys. You will be so shocked at how easy this is. I'm intimidated by interactive cards. And this set was super easy. Okay, you get your main piece and then you get four square dies. The first, the largest square die is actually your cascade part. You get four pull tabs. You get three of these are kind of basic and then you get this beautiful embellished one. And then there's also two pieces that you can use to die cut out that embellished one or you could use the bottom of it to create um, a little bit of decorative edge on your elements here. So this is it super fun let's create a christmas cascade card base shall we i'm using cranberry bliss cardstock and we're going to start off by die cutting out these two pieces and then we're going to bring in another piece of cardstock and then take the largest rectangle and then there's an insert for it the insert doesn't die cut it just um scores so we're going to need a background and then the scored piece and then that little rectangle so super duper easy while we're die cutting, I'm gonna die cut out two of the little pull tabs here. And then we're gonna take the largest. We're gonna need four of these to create our little cascade effect. I'm gonna die cut out four with the Cranberry Bliss cardstock. And then I'm gonna die cut out one with the white cards, uh, I'm sorry, the buttercream cardstock. And then I'm gonna create a frame with the two middle sizes with buttercream cardstock. Buttercreams are real pretty ivory and um, I think it goes really good with the Cranberry Bliss. So three frames with the, uh, with the buttercream, and then we're gonna create an easy peasy cascade card. Okay, the nice thing about the square dies, guys, is there's dotted detail on there. So pretty, I love that. And um, the little pull tab here actually has the words P-U-L-L -L and the score line right down the middle, which will help you align it up. So it makes this, it's hard to see on camera the pull, but um, it, it's really neat. And maybe you can see in the close up pictures. Okay, this is made for to be a pull tab too, but I thought it'd create a really pretty, see if you add that piece to create um, a pull tab, you very well could. But I'm gonna create a decorative edge for the very top of my Cascade card base. So I die cut it out on a corner you can see how pretty it's well Becca Feekin you know she always makes gorgeous beautiful elegant dies and so I'm just gonna use it twice on my first square here and that's gonna be my decorative element on top of my card okay you can see I flipped it around die cut it out again so isn't that just a prettiest square <laughs> okay I'm gonna use glue and add it around the edges of my detailed piece we're going to glue this down to our buttercream square and then that's our very top piece you want to make sure you have four squares in total so this is the top and then I have three more of my cranberry bliss squares okay now it's the easy part guys we are going to take this panel here this has the score lines that we use the insert with you could barely see it okay but there's a square on the bottom and then there's score lines on the top there's four of them three of them actually one, two, three, yeah. Four of them, sorry. What we're gonna do is create an accordion fold. Okay, we're gonna make a fan, like we did when we were little, or when I was little. <laughs> Just create a fan, forward and back, forward and back. Okay, once we have that, you can see the W shape. We're gonna flip it around and do it again. Do a reversed accordion fold. What we're doing is breaking up the fibers in the paper. You can use your bone folder too if you wanted to enforce it, but we're weakening the fibers. So the mechanism's gonna um, flow a lot nicer. I did this a few times and once, once you can feel that they're weakened a little bit, we're good to go, okay? Now the very top flap is gonna go right over the top of your second rectangle that we die cut, okay? It's just gonna lay over the top so you have a half inch piece in the very back and then a half inch showing on the very bottom of your panel, okay? 
you need to adhere it. So any kind of strong adhesive that you have will work. I'm using my white liner tape, um, but if you have glue, glue would work. It takes take a little bit longer to dry, but um, glue would work great too. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the release paper off of this one and just wrap it around the very top of my panel here making sure that score line is on the very top of my panel and the left and right sides are lined up. You want them absolutely even here, easy to do, but you can see the half inch on the bottom and then half inch in the back. So basically that's your mechanism. How easy is that guys? Who would have thought? <laughs> this piece has score lines on the left and right. You're gonna fold those in, creating an upside down coffee table you're gonna lay it flat on your craft desk and then open it up and add adhesive to the left and to the right. You wanna make sure that you only get it to the left and the right. You only want the adhesive on the legs because um, it will uh, obstruct your mechanism. So just on the left and right here, right before the score line. Now this, you're gonna line up on the very back, make sure the front of your panel that we um, has that accordion fold on. You wanna make sure your panel is flat um, I'm using the score line on the front panel on the very bottom as a guide uh, where to wrap it around so it's even, so that makes it easy too. So we have the back that you can slide your thumb through, and then the front is tacked down to the, on the left and the right. That's gonna be your mechanism. How easy is that? I mean, three pieces and tape. <laughs> okay, we're gonna break out some more white liner tape, and we're gonna add some strips to the very top. We're gonna to add tape to each section that we scored. And then on the very bottom, that where the square um, uh, score lines are, you're gonna add adhesive to the top and bottom of there. You can go all the way to the bottom of this panel, but I'm gonna go right over my um, the tabs that we fold in just for extra enforcement. But, um, and then on the very top, just below the last score line. So we have four pieces of tape on top, or four lines of glue on top, and then one line of glue on the bottom. Now, this is so easy. We're gonna take our first square, add it to the very bottom, making sure it's centered, okay? And we're gonna cover up those tabs so it's nice and clean, okay? Next, we're gonna take our next piece, line it up at the score line, there's just adhesive at the very top of here. So you wanna make sure it's centered. You can use your bone folder if you want to, um, to secure it. We're gonna do the same thing, just repeat the next layer. And then last but not least, we do our decorative top layer. Line that up to the very top of this panel. So that's just so easy peasy. Basically, that's it guys. So you have all your little layers. Now we're gonna grab our pull tabs. Pull tabs are easy, you add glue behind one. And again, there's a score mark in the center. So use, you can use your grid line um, on your mat. Um, it's a one inch circle. So you just line it up in the center, add a little more glue, flip it over, add your second pull tab. Now if you wanna just add one, you very well could. But I like how clean two looks and it kind of gives it a little extra stability for pulling. Um, so glue does take a little bit longer to dry, but that's it. How easy, huh? Now these pieces, I wanted something a little bit playful on, on the each one of my squares when you pull down your cascade. Remember, you wanna make sure there's no adhesive behind there, otherwise it's not gonna work. But basically, you can see how this works. Um, what you would wanna do is flip open each layer um, and maybe reinforce it with your bone folder and then add your frame. If you don't wanna add a frame, you could add a little scene. I think that would be cute. You could add a picture, guys. How cute would a picture be in there? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna open up the second layer. Reinforce that score line with your hand or your bone folder. Open it up and add a frame to the third layer. And that's it. You're gonna pull that tab down and they should lay flat. How easy, oh, oh my goodness. We just created an interactive card. I just think that's just the neatest thing. Where it was, I, I'm having so much fun, we're gonna make another one, okay? I'm gonna use some buttercream cardstock this time. So we're basically gonna do the same thing. We're gonna die cut out this piece. 
we're going to die cut out a background and then we're going to take our rectangle and add the insert and die cut out that one so three pieces and then i'm also going to die cut out some green card stock for this we'll make a green card so there is our um scored piece you can align or just reinforce those score lines do the accordion fold back and forth back and forth flip it around and do it again break those fibers looks like i'm going really fast but i guess it kind of was <laughs> but i didn't speed it up too much um easy peasy okay we're gonna make our little coffee table now we're gonna add adhesive so we'll just flip this over get our white liner tape add it to the very top add a piece on the inside of our legs here of our coffee table we'll remove the release paper off the top add it to our background here just fold it over making sure it's centered and that's good to go we'll add our coffee table piece right behind and we're going to fold over the left and right tab um, just above the score line on the very bottom that way we know it's centered and that's our mechanism easy peasy <laughs> okay we have to get our white liner tape we're going to add three rows on the very top one two three in between each one of those score lines we're going to add one below the last score line and one over the pull tab or the the tabs that we folded over to the left and right I'll just remove the release paper and then we're going to add our little square panels that are so pretty with that dotted detail on there. I'm going to add the green to the very bottom and then once that's adhered we're going to go ahead and add our, our lightest color which is sweet pear. Our darkest green is green olive or olive green. I always get it mixed up so I'm not sure if it's green olive or olive green. Um, medium color here is um, lemongrass and then we'll add our green olive again on top and I think that looks fun now these were actually the insert pieces um, from our frames that we created from our red car base and um, we're going to use those in a bit but we're going to use a different pull tab for this so I grabbed the longer one and die cut that out with my sweet pear cardstock all you do with this one is add a bead of glue or a line of tape and just take your Christmas Cascade card base and add it right over the top of it. You can flip it over and kind of center it and voila, you have an instant pull tab. If you wanted to sandwich this one too, you could because <laughs> there's an open end on this tab, which is really nice. Now I'm gonna open each layer and just reinforce those score lines just so my mechanism kind of flows a lot nicer. I think if you do this, um, it's gonna open and close a lot easier. You just put your hand on the left and right to test it of your back panel and it'll slide open and closed. But it's super duper easy. So these are my little inserts from our frames. We're gonna put these to good use to add a little glue and put them on each one of our squares here. Just center them. Once these are in here, I'm gonna bring in um, some more of the green olive cardstock. I'm gonna use the smallest die in the set um, th in the square set and die cut out um, actually I'm gonna die cut out three of these but we're gonna create little presents with this one so after this is die cut out I'm gonna bring in some twine this is silver twine um, and we're basically gonna wrap our little square with it so we're gonna create a little present we're gonna flip it around and then tie a bow right in the center to create a nice little gift. I think the sky is the limit with the Christmas Cascade card base. Oh my goodness, the wheels were turning because there are so many cute little image stamp sets that you could add to each one of these layers, each one of these little scenes. You could add balloons for a birthday card. Easter would be so cute with this. I just think it's the neatest thing and it's interactive. And who would have thought it'd be so easy? <laughs> okay, for this present, I'm gonna add tape behind it. We are gonna add this to the center of each one of our squares. So kind of, the, the white background or the buttercream background just kind of makes it pop a little bit. 
and then I'm going to repeat it three more times. Now when you do add the bows to each one of these um, cascade squares, um, it does add dimension. So it doesn't close fat, flat guys, it's bulky. So if you want to skip that part, use a paper bow, you very could, you very well could. But um, a little bulk never hurt me. If you know me by now, you know I use a lot of foam adhesive, which I didn't use for any of my cards today. But um, I am going to bring in this die set. Now this die set is called the Holiday Block Words die set. Now it's from Spellbinders and it's meant to coordinate with your Christmas Cascade card base. Um, this square will cut out a front panel just like the other one did, but this doesn't have dotted detail. Okay, so it fits the same panel size without the dotted detail. This set does have the sentiment that says, tis the season in three different parts. You can see how pretty the font is on that. It die cuts out two poinsettia flowers that you layer together. They're two different sizes and there is a little hole in the center for a brad if you want to adhere a brad. This Noel is gorgeous and it fits perfectly inside your square panels. And then there's a joy also that will fit inside the, the square panels. I could die cut it out with silver cardstock, but I just wanted to share with you how pretty they are. There's also one more that says ho 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 that kind of got lost underneath my die set here. <laughs> but isn't that pretty? That's the one we're going to use today. We're going to adhere that to the green. And then um, we're also going to use tis the season to finish up our um, cranberry bliss background. I'm going to take the poinsettia flower and die cut out three times with my buttercream cardstock. We're going to create three poinsettia layered flowers. Since there is a hole in the center, um, I'm going to just create a donut of glue on the very base of the largest flower. I'm going to fluff up the leaves a little bit on the smaller flower and then we're going to layer them together. Easy peasy to do. And there is embossed detail on these um, poinsettia flowers too. You can't see it, but it's so pretty. Okay. I thought we'd create three flowers on the very uh, top of our decorative element for this card. Um, for Tis the Season, I'm going to add glue and in each one of my panels, starting with the first one, I'm going to add Tis. We're going to put it in the center of our little frame. We're going to flip it open and then we're going to add the. Lovely. Flip it open one more time and we're going to add the season. Now I was going to add see the season right in the middle, but why not make it wonky? Why, why not make it a little bit playful? So we're going to make it a little bit at an angle. So that one's ready to go. And you can see when you close it, you can, I just think this is so, so neat. And aren't you guys amazed how easy it is to create? I was like, wow. Uh, like I said, uh, interactive cards intimidate me, and you can, if you know me, I, you know I don't do them very often, but this was so easy. Okay, I have a Cranberry Bliss card base. It's a standard A2 size card base. I'm going to take my Cascade piece, place it in the center, and use my pencil, and actually go along the entire edge, because we're going to add a little sparkle. I'm going to be using some silver sparkle tape. I loved the whipped cream sparkle tape and so I picked up the silver too but the silver has scalloped edge which makes it really pretty. Um, I'm just going to go over the pencil marks on each side this way. Um, I can kind of space it evenly and then I use my scissors to trim off the excess. Now when you attach this cascade piece, very very important guys, you only want to add adhesive or tape along that strip, okay, that lifts up, that I always put my finger underneath. That's the only place where you want to adhere tape. Otherwise, it's going to obstruct the mechanism and your card won't do the full flowy cascade. Um, I don't know what it'll do, but it probably won't open. <laughs> so make sure it's just on that little piece. And you would think just that little piece is going to hold this big old panel that we created down, but it does. We're going to flip our panel, our card base upside down so I can line it up on the very bottom and center it. Use my hand and really rub that tape into the card base. And that's it guys. It, it's going to hold it down, but you'll see here you pull the tab and all of them just flow open. Isn't that so neat? 
Now that the red one's not too bulky either. The what's making it bulky is my poinsettia flowers that I layered. Well, I just think that's so neat. Could you imagine doing birthday cards, Easter cards, Valentine's Day would be cute. Just love it. I went ahead and adhered my ho ho ho. And I also adhered a piece of my silver sparkle tape on the very bottom. But guys, you want to make sure that you don't obstruct the mechanism. I went a little too high with my sparkle tape, so I'm going to flip it around so the straight edge is on the bottom. It's going to leave me a little bit more room. This way it'll actually close my cascade. You just want to make sure you don't obstruct it. But I think that's so neat. This My green one's a little bulky because of my ribbon. We made our little presents. But I'm going to go a step further and turn these into gift card holders. I didn't know if it was going to work, but it works so nice, guys. I always have a couple extra gift cards on hand because for gifts, um, I'm a busy lady. And if I have them on hand, it just it's nice when you're in a pinch. But um, all you do, I added white liner tape on the very back. But all you're going to do is tuck it underneath the very bottom layer here. Make sure it's in the very bottom. Center it. Make sure that the top of the gift card, I would say about half of an inch is up tucked underneath that bottom layer. And then it closes. You can't see it. But when you pull the tab, your gift card comes out. And you get a pretty message. It would be fun to the left and to the right even. How neat is that? And so easy and not bulky. Okay, now for my ho 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 card, I have a Starbucks card. We're gonna do the same thing. I just added tape behind the back of it. All we're gonna do is, you can see here, you're gonna tuck it right underneath the mechanism layer. You have your green square. You're gonna lift it and then add your gift card. Kind of tuck it under there about half of an inch. Center it, it's just so it looks nice. And then rub that in so it doesn't go nowhere. And then that is it. This one, again, is a little bulky. How fun is this? <laughs> okay. So these are my cards today. All we have to do is embellish it a little bit more with some fashion silver embellishments. Um, these are three. There's one two, three, four different sizes in here. And I was going to do different sizes for the center of my flowers, but changed my mind. We're going to pick those up and put them on the, um, as holly berries on our holly leaves. And I'm just going to use the smallest of the embellishments in the, the set here and create a, a three cluster in each one of those flowers. And then we're going to add different sizes for the holly berries. And then that's my embellished fun little Christmas cascade card base, guys, using the holiday block words die set also. Super easy. Links are down below if you're interested in it, but I think you will be so impressed at how easy it is. But thank you so much for joining me, guys. I wish you a fabulous day. Um, nice way to get a head start on your holiday cards. Um, we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.